ahead, this is episode 9 of Wasteland 3. We're going into HQ to get the, the new RAV thing, and then we're going to check out the second expansion. Or DLC or whatever. Since you took a break. I'm fine. Come on. How long? Around the same time he had his last shower. So Nelius Dorsey shot himself. Well, as long as he's dead. Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. Yes, Mom. Actually, plus two action points seems better. Time to take some chances and expand man's horizons. I wonder if there will be conflict. Hey, how's it going? How are the kids? I don't know.
Cheyenne Mountain is a pre-deluge military research facility rumored to house an ancient energy source. Well, let's go find out. Howdy Rangers, as you explore the depths of Cheyenne Mountain, you will encounter several new gameplay features, even for experienced players who recommend selecting continue to see new tutorials about them. This is wrong! You can't keep the holy detonation to yourselves! Last of it! The sacred glow belongs to the nucleus alone! The globe belongs to everyone! The angel has spoken! You will all be cast out to die in the wasteland with the rest of the unworthy! <clears throat> Stop this! There's no need for violence! Maintenance management system online. Please enter the open app. Open maintenance robot storage. Check maintenance management logs. There are more than a hundred years of daily logs to scroll through. All the pre deluge logs are similar, detailing minor repairs and regularly scheduled maintenance. Ranking the files by bit size, you are able to find a few logs with more incidents. Check maintenance robot status. No power, battery defect. I don't know, what can you do? I am prone back to perform debug and see repairs and prove it many new assistance to ensure personnel. Come with us, I'm sure we can find something for you to do. Please wait while I confirm your identity with a form of base personnel. Go and forward sound back in your scan. Request to be suspicious in the Uber. Remove the robot's memory module. Error. Memory module not detected. Restart the in safe mode. Restart completed. Initiating follow and assist mode. More big battery power for detected. System error may occur. which is found only within Cheyenne Mountain. Polar radiation starts at level 1 and builds up to level 10. At higher levels bring increasingly severe effects, most harmful, but some helpful. Polar radiation can only be removed using rare items or older radiation batteries, so you need to consider when and on the beam to use them.
function. In purple dead match are each and three bingo levels. System failure bidding. Hello again, Rangers. Oh, I'm glad you made it. For a moment there, I thought you would be too late. What a battle. Let me introduce you to my new acquaintance. Brother, er, Carbuncle of the Primordialists, who came out with his friends to welcome me when I hailed Cheyenne Mountain over the radio. Hey, thanks for defending us. No way we'd have survived without your help. I wish I could welcome you to our home, but the bastard Nucleus finally made their move. And it looks like we're gonna have to fight to get back in. Whoa! A talking drool! Oh, I don't suppose you'd be willing to help us with that? Or we can offer you food and supplies. <clears throat> it will also help us get closer to our goal. Nucleus Primordialists, can you both slow down and take it from the beginning? Uh, yes. I know you explained it to me once on our way here, Carbuncle. But all this violence has blown it clear out of my head. Would you mind going over it again? Sure. Okay. So I'm Brother Carbuncle. And my friends and I are primordialists. The ones we fought are <coughs> nucleus. And it sucks that we're fighting at all. Those people used to be my friends. See, in the beginning was the holy detonation. And us <coughs> worshippers were called primordialists. We believe the detonation's sacred glow will make us all one, and we want to share it with the whole world. But one of us, Deuterion, started saying the world wasn't worthy of the glow, and we should keep it to ourselves. We call that heresy. So he went off and started a cult, the Nucleus called himself an abbot. Since then, the peaceful paradise that Cheyenne Mountain used to be has become a hellhole. Oh, it's terrible. What are you, Carbuncle? You don't look human. Oh, I am. I'm just evolved. Gloriously evolved, Father Bezor says. Mutation has us all differently and and I went down the proto rural path. Still got my voice, though. Kinda. But some folks lose that first. It all depends. Eventually, I'll just be a big blob of protoplasm. It'll be great. Fascinating. What was this battle we just helped you win all about? That was Deuterium picking his moment. Up till now, there's been no fighting between the two sides, but I... I guess he decided it was time. He knew just when to strike. <laughs> Bastard. He must have heard our call to Theo here, saying we'd uh, come out to welcome him. Because when we got back, the Nucleus were waiting for us. My dear friend, I am so sorry if my call caused all this. How terrible. It's not your fault, Theo. But we gotta hurry back inside. They're attacking our camp in there. I heard our brothers and sisters calling for us on the walkie. That damn Deuterium's trying to wipe us out once and for all. What's that weird stuff blocking the door to that booth over there? Oh, that's a tumor colony. They form all over the place in Cheyenne Mountain. Kinda hard to clear them once they gather like that. Sister, Melanoma could tell you more about them once we get inside. If we get inside. What was going on with the guys you were fighting? All that glow. They kept attacking after we killed them. Yeah. Uh, some mutations are more useful than others, right? You get enough radiation in you and it can come back out in all kinds of crazy ways. For them, it keeps them alive for a little while after they buy the farm. We gotta kill him twice? Man! Any friends of Theos or friends of ours will help you out. Praise the great glow. Thank you, friends. 
Here's the passcode for the airlock. You enter it into the terminal next to it. Be prepared for more fighting. Well done, friends. One step closer. Cancerous masses grown across the doorway. Your weapons cannot breach the thick witness of calcified plate with your cups. Door C, control terminal active. Enter access code OU812. Code accepted. Door open. It appears the inner door has been sealed. Yeah, it's sealed automatically if a security lockdown is triggered. The nucleus must have done it to keep us out. How do we cancel the lockdown? Uh, I think there might be a way in the access control room over there. Maybe. You don't know much about your own base, do you? Uh, sorry. G good luck. Please, Rangers. More diplomacy. Seal, terminal active. Please enter your command. Open access, open access control room. Opening door. Dear, it appears they've activated security measures. Yeah, those things are security beacons. You're gonna need to shut them off or they'll keep calling more robot reinforcements. How to shut them down? Those switches over there will do it. All you gotta do is get to them. What's the security beacon? They're part of Cheyenne's old security system. They detect and identify threats and summon robots to deal with them. Which is great if you're controlling them. Not so good for us. Yeah, persevere, Rangers. Encounters. In Shadow Mountain, you will come across combat encounters that will require more than just bullets. You will need to complete another larger objective, such as activating a security override or tapping the power. You will receive an overview before starting each of those. Please, you can choose when to initiate and fight smart to become a combat Enemy spawner. Shadow Mountain is full of security systems that will deploy hostiles on your position. These systems cannot be defeated directly with attacks. Instead, you need to complete your objective or find another way to stop, stop the flow of enemies. 
certain abilities and special equipment can also temporarily disrupt them by using some extra time.
attached security turret. Entry control system online. Please enter your command. Deactivate security lockdown. I'm guessing it's not the uh, character. Job shutting down the security alert, friends. Well done. Yes, good job. Let's go in. Observation level. Doors closed. Heretics, degenerates, we cast you out. Leave this sacred place or face the wrath of the angel. alarmed. The blessed radiation has devolved our beloved Proteus's speech beyond the ability of the uninitiated to understand. But I can translate. I am Sister Paula, speaker for the Proteus. 
Sorry, Proteus. That is, I'm speaker until the true speaker, Father Bezor, returns to us. If he does. The Proteus thanks you for your timely intervention. Your arrival has spared us all much unnecessary violence. What would you ask of them? Okay, uh, Proteus, who or what are you? The Proteus says they are the devolved protoplasm of many primordialists, coalesced into a single unified mass. They are them. They are also the salvation of humanity, and the end of all conflict. As when all of us are one, there will be no other left to hate. Is this an act, or are we just... or are we really just talking to you? Not at all. The Proteus is a fully conscious being, and wiser than all the rest of us combined. What would you like to ask? How did you come to be? The Proteus says they were created when the Holy Detonation shined its divine light upon its faithful servants. And with each follower who devolves and joins them, they grow larger and wiser and more complete. For that they are grateful to the Holy Detonation, which is the beginning of us and the ending of us. The Alpha and the Omega, forever and ever. Amen. What is the Holy Detonation? The Proteus says that all you must do is look behind them. Our God, the Holy Detonation, resides within its blessed chamber, bathing us in the light of creation and evolution. Whoa! It's like looking at the sun! It unfolds us in the warm embrace of its glow, which brings oneness, peace, and the salvation of the whole cursed world. You know your holy detonation is just a pre-war science experiment, right? The Proteus says all gods have to start somewhere, and most were just men. The holy detonation was born as a star is born, and what man can say that? So the whole point of your religion is to let the holy detonation dissolve you all into, into one big mess. The Proteus says when all are one, no one will be lonely. What could be more joyous than that? Who is this Father Bezor you mentioned? Where has he gone? Father Bezor is... was... the true speaker for the Proteus, and their second in command. He both interpreted and carried out the Proteus's wishes. I am only his... stand-in. The Proteus believes the Nucleists have captured him and are holding him in a cell in the lower levels. They fear they are performing experiments on him. Others among us fear he is already dead. I'm sorry, Proteus, but it is a possibility we have to consider. Nucleus has been performing experiments on Father Bezor. What kind of experiments? The Proteus says Abbot Deuterium is obsessed with manipulating the process of mutation. They fear Bezor will be mutated in ways he does not wish. The Proteus says they pray for his safe return. But let us get back to the matter at hand. What was all that about when we came in? Who were those people and where did they run to? And they were nucleists, like the ones you fought outside. Deuterium, their leader, wanted to kill the Proteus. Thanks to you, they fled instead. But you've only postponed the inevitable. They will try again. You see, to ensure its safety, entering the chamber of the Holy Detonation requires two codes. The Proteus holds one, Deuterium the other. Thus, in the weeks since the Nucleus split from us, neither side has been able to worship in its presence. We have tried to convince Deuterium to rejoin us so we may all worship together, but he has refused. Instead, he wants to take the Proteus's code so only Nucleists may worship. This is intolerable. That sounds pretty selfish. Indeed, considering the code is tattooed on one of their inner members, meaning Deuterium would have to kill them to get it. And if we wanted Deuterium's code, well, that would be difficult, as he's locked himself in the power storage facility. Not only is there no getting down there, the facility is where the Nucleists perform their rituals. 
passing the holy energy of the batteries through their bodies. They would be at their most powerful there. But we must get in, for if we can't extricate Deuterium and get the code, we may never worship before the holy detonation again. A calamity. Sounds like a favor for a favor situation to me. <laughs> ah, very true, Proteus. The Proteus says there may be one way to reach him. Deuterium's girlfriend, the Angel Iridium, was so frightened by your entry, she ran the wrong way. She could be a bargaining chip, a dangerous one. She is hiding in the cooling chamber over there, but in her distress, she is emitting deadly levels of radiation. It would be impossible to get near her, even for those such as ourselves who thrive on the glow. Of course, there is between you and the nucleus. <laughs> The Proteus says the Nucleists believe we're degenerates, unworthy of the holy detonation. Even though we've served it faithfully for years, they want its power only for themselves. They shall not have it. What is the difference in the beliefs between of the Primordialists and the Nucleus? The difference is that we want to share the holy detonation with everyone, while Deuterium and his Nucleists want to keep it only for the worthy. In other words, themselves. But we are starting to believe they no longer wish to abandon themselves to unity. They are afraid to give up their individuality and become one with the Proteus. They want to be angels instead. Gods when we already have a god. The Proteus says they need to give up their prideful ways and return to the true path of devolution, dissolution, and oneness. Who is about the term? Deuterium was the speaker for the Proteus before he left the true path and refused to become one with the rest of us. Now he leads the Nucleists and speaks for Iridium. What do you mean by speaker for the Proteus and speaker for Iridium? The truly blessed to become hard for the uninitiated to understand, so someone with holy insight must translate for them. <laughs> Thank you, Proteus. I live only to serve you. Who is the Angel Iridium? <laughs> the Nucleists call her an Ascended, a Radiation Angel. She is only a human who has mutated to store and release radiation. I suppose one could call her the Nucleists' version of the Proteus, but of course, without the Proteus's wisdom. Oddly, Abbot Deuterium is completely in love with her. Abbot Deuterium is in love with Iridium? Indeed. And not in the way we love the Proteus or the Great Glow. His is a romantic love. He wants to become a Radiation Angel too, so he can be with her. <laughs> Very true, Proteus. The Proteus says Deuterium would have to be an angel to be with her. Otherwise her embrace would burn him up like old paper. Is it likely the Terrium will change into a radiation angel? Only the Great Glow knows when or if a person will become blessed, or what form they'll take. We Primordialists are all changed, but we are not angels. Instead, we're on our way to becoming like the Proteus. Deuterium and his Nucleists think we're ugly because of that. They think the only acceptable transformation is to become a radiation angel. <laughs> It would be just as if, when he changed, Deuterium became like us. It would destroy him. If we help you get access to your holy detonation, would you be willing to share this power with Colorado Springs? The Proteus says the holy detonation is a gift to all mankind. If you can convince Deuterium to return and help us open its chamber, or find some other way of getting his code, they will happily share its power with the whole world. When you say find some other way of getting Deuterium's codes, what are you suggesting? Despite everything, the Proteus does not wish Deuterium harm. That said, we cannot tolerate anyone standing in the way of our ability to worship in the Holy Chamber. <coughs> Do what you can, but if that fails, do what you must. 
The Proteus suggests you use the Angel Iridium as leverage to reach Deuterium. Deuterium would do anything to get his beloved back, even open the door that protects him. If you have her, he will be forced to negotiate. And she awaits you not 20 yards from us in the cooling pools. Though, as we said earlier, she is at the moment dangerously radioactive. She may be within easy reach, but you said she was too hot to touch and tips for containing her? The Proteus says you should speak to Brother Goiter, our best engineer, about this. Hopefully, he'll have some idea how to transport Iridium safely. When you can, bring her to the power storage facility elevator and use its intercom to tell Deuterium you have her. Be sure to open it for her. When he does, you will ride down with her and then deal with him. Hello, friends. I'm Sister Mitosis. I'm sorry you've come at such a difficult time for our congregation, but we're happy you're here. At least, we're trying to be. Hey, what? What do you do here in the camp? Pray, mostly. Or as the Proteus commands. We all pitch in to keep the place going. Foraging, cooking, cleaning, preparing the holy water. You're crying. Is there anything we can do for you? My friend Pitchblend joined the Nucleus a while ago. I haven't heard from him since, and, and now that we and the Nucleus are fighting, I... I'm not sure I ever will again. If... If you see him, maybe you could convince him to come back to us? You'll know him by the friendship bracelet on his wrist. It's the twin of mine. We found them in the ruins when we were kids. And we've worn them ever since. What are you doing, Oscar? Can we borrow your bracelet to help identify him? I don't know. This bracelet is all I have left. It means the world to me. Is it more important than getting your back your best friend? This might help convince him. Oh, yes. I, I hadn't thought of it like that. Here, take it. I will pray for your success. Yeah, do it. Why don't you stream everything you play? Oh, really? Everything is muted on my side. Is it still echo? Uh, check check uh, if you have like an extra stream uh, sound going or something. Because everything's muted on my side, so there shouldn't be any issues. How about now? Is it still? Oh, thank you. Go with the glow, friends. Is it fine now? Hey there, Rangers. Welcome. Folks around here call me Goiter. If you're looking for salvage tech, you've come to the right place. <laughs> Yeah, if you have if you have another uh, window open and it's sound in that one, you can cause uh, like yeah feedback and shit. Because that's usually if my sound gets fucked up, it's usually that uh, one of my windows have unmuted itself for no reason, and then I get like double voice and shit. It's very annoying. The Proteus asked us to capture Iridium and bring her to Deuterium. They said you might know some way to contain her. Any ideas? 
contain Iridium? Whew, that's a tall order. She's already hot in her normal state, but when she fled into that cooling room, she was practically shooting out solar flares. Huh. Now that I think of it, she probably went in there because she was so hot. See, they might look serene, but it hurts to be a radiation angel. They need to offload built-up energy or they'll die. But they can't do it around us or we'll die. That's what the pool is for. The angels soak in it and the water safely leaches their energy. In fact, before us and the nucleus split, I was working on a device in there to siphon that energy and... Wait a minute. An idea is coming to me. What is it? Okay, got it. We're gonna turn my siphon into a containment device. To do that, we'll need three things. First, there's a particle accelerator on the lab level that has a voltage regulator tough enough to handle her fluctuations. Rip that out. Second, I'm pretty sure I saw a scatter ray emitter in the shipping room near the loading docks that we can use to distribute our shielding material in a bubble around her. And third, the shield itself. The nucleus are using the old brig to hold unwilling subjects for their experiments. They've been using a force field projector to keep irradiated captives contained. We'll need the crystal out of that. Bring all that stuff back to me, and I'll whip you up something that'll hold Iridium long enough to get her through the camp and down the elevator to Deuterium. Though, uh, not much longer than that. Oh, wait, hang on. You won't be able to get any of those things without the access code for the elevators in the entrance lobby. Here it is. ADM 1N. One three three seven. Where do you get your tech from? Mostly in salad from down in the lab area. I repair what I can and repurpose the rest. There was this one time I converted a handheld cyclotron into a hairdryer. <laughs> Straight your short and curlies in two seconds flat. Let's see what you got to say. Wait a second. Before we get to that, I think I heard Sister Polyp telling you how Father Bezor's gone missing. But I bet she didn't ask you to save him, did she? She mentioned him, but no, she didn't say anything about the rescue. Yeah, well, she wouldn't, see. If he doesn't come back, then she's the speaker permanently. Stops being Sister Polyp and becomes Mother Polyp. And she'd like that just fine. She wants him dead? Disgusting. The rest of us wouldn't be happy about that. She's a devout primordialist, ain't no denying that, but even her biggest supporters wouldn't call her exactly warm and friendly, more cold and tough. And I don't know, what with deuterium and the nucleus acting up, maybe we need that, but we love Father Bezor. At least most of us do, and we want him back, so... If you find he's still alive down there in the security level, I hope you'll consider bringing him home. We'd appreciate it. Thanks. Now, what did you want to buy? What do you got? Slice of dice of self assembly. Radiation's blessings to you all. My name's Boobo. <laughs> Boobo. If you've got a hurt that needs mending, or you're looking for a little extra pep in your step, I'm happy to help. My name's Boobo, like the owl. What? No, it's because of the 
swollen nodes all over my body, big as cassava melons. It's a sign of the holy radiation's life-given power. Named after an owl? <laughs> the very idea. Have we got anything for sale? You won't find a better selection of radioactive medicines this side of paradise. Ultra morphine. Rangers, praise be to the bomb and shit. You, uh, you looking for some firepower? Sick Rick can hook you up. Sick Rick. Sick Rick, you're contagious or something. Nah, nothing like that. Father Bezor started calling me Sick Rick because the, uh, blessed radiation ain't twisting me like the others. Just, you know, bad luck, I guess. That's weird. You don't look like you've been affected by radiation at all. Keep it down, will ya? People will hear you. Look, I joined the cult for the dinero. Get me? They let me loot this place of tech and trade it for supplies out in the world. And don't care if I pocket the difference. Uh, everybody's happy. And yeah, uh, to make them happy, I do all the blessings and, and rituals and shit, but I don't drink the water. And I gobble down the anti-rad mushrooms like they were jelly beans, because I don't want my damn face to fall off. But let's... Keep this between friends, okay? I got a pretty good thing going here, and I don't want them kicking me out for saying no thanks to the great glow. Uh, here, how about I cut you a discount on my stock? Empty red mushrooms? There's a lab down in research that grows them. Harder to get a hold of now that the primordialists took over that level, but worth dodging their patrols for. Keeps my skin as smooth as a newborn baby's. I'll see what you got for sale. Everything's in good shape. Not too hot, not too cold, if you get my drift. Uranium sprayer. Uranium crossbow. Oh, he just got the minigun for sale. How about them mappers?
says Needler does more damage, but I doubt that very much. Yes, Mr. Dildo Head! The man, the myth, the legend. Have fun with the dog. to run the square. Everything's in good shape. Not too hot, not too cold, if you get my drift. Hello there. Blessings of the glow be with you. I'm Sister Melanoma. If you're looking for a little protection, I'm sure I've got something that will help. Where do you get your supplies from? The holy detonation provides! There's all kinds of useful stuff down on the lower levels. Plenty of dead explorers, too. Usually, we just share this stuff amongst ourselves when we need it. But seeing as you're outsiders, I figure I should probably charge you. We'll put the money toward our missionary work. Was well, a weird bone the cancerous growth there? Oh, that's a tumor colony. Flesh tumors are cancerous growths that flake off from the proteus sometimes and scooch around on their own. For some reason, they seem to form colonies around doors and crates. We don't know why. Father Bezoris discovered that he can make them disperse by playing tunes for them on his flute. <laughs> This one's weird, though, because Bezor hasn't been able to find a tune to disperse it. Must have eclectic taste. It was even worse. Of course! Let me know if there's anything you like. Pre-war helmet. <clears throat>
see the control terminal and the password. Door open. Rangers, it's Goiter. My terminal says you took the elevator to the loading dock level. Fair warning, the place is crawling with flesh masses and marrow proto-tools, so watch out. They're dangerous. Dock vehicle elevator controls in online. Vehicle detected at tunnel level. Summon elevator. Yeah.
again. Did you just activate the delivery elevator? Yep, brought our truck down just like you told us to. Yeah, sorry. Just making sure. Still a bit on edge since the attack on our camp. I guess you're getting ready to head into our loading dock proper now. Not yet, we're still looking around. Definitely worth doing some recon. You're gonna want every advantage you can find. And listen, like I said, there will be feral proto drools crawling out of the ventilation ducts every minute you're down there. So searching for that scatter ray emitter is not gonna be easy. But I got a plan for that. See, the vent system has backup gas heaters in every duct in case the central furnace ever breaks down. You crank those up and you'll have open flames cutting off every vent from the inside. Not even a proto drool likes to get burned. Unfortunately, the heated control is way at the back, so you're gonna have to run and gun till you get to it. Once you fire it up, though, the feral drools stop coming and you'll have peace and quiet to search for that scatter ray emitter. Why do you want us to bring down a vehicle? Will we be blowing up doors for it? Not exactly. You need the truck for the pressure plates that open the doors. You gotta drive your truck onto a plate, wait for the door to rise, then move forward. There are protodrones in the ventilation ducts? Yeah, they use them to scrabble around from place to place. So keep your eyes on a swivel. Is there anything else you can tell us about this area? Hmm. A couple things. Before the split with the nucleus, I was down there all the time. We used to use a crane to set the shipping containers on the pressure plates to open the big doors. Might be useful somehow. Also, last time I looked, there was a liquid nitrogen pump in a back room that was in terrible shape. And I doubt Deuterium's crew have fixed it. If you crank the pressure, I bet you burnt some pipes. Could freeze some drools or flesh masses. The crane controls and the pressure monitor are both in a side hall. Have a look for them. You'll remember it. We'll check it out. My pleasure. Just remember, use your truck to open the big door so you can reach the heating control in the back room. Once you get there, fire it up to block the proto drools way in. Then find the scatter ray emitter. That's it. Good luck.
I say unto thee, Blessed be the radiation that gathers in thy bones. That's not what verse 13 says. It says, Blessed be the radiation that metastasizes the brain, for there lies the path to ascension. Both of you are wrong. It's blessed be the radiation that thickens the blood and make brittle the teeth for those are blessed by the light of the glow. Ha! Who told you fools you know scripture? You sound like a pair of primordial. like nucleus to me. That's because they're outsiders, idiot. Stop right there, unbelievers, or we shall smite thee. This is sacred ground. Say your prayers, freaks. We do the smiting around here. I knew it. Kill the blasphemers. <laughs>
on.
here say we could sabotage this somehow? Look at that machine. You see it monitors the pressure in liquid nitrogen system and opens a release valve if it gets too high. If you knew how to disconnect the sensors, the release valve would never open and the system would explode. <coughs> Accessing liquid nitrogen pressure management system. Warning, pressure must not exceed 580 psi or pipes may burst. Property damage and or loss of life may occur. Current pressure, 90 psi. Disable safety override. Increase pressure to 600 psi. Please stand by. Natasha! Someone in their secret base! Who are they? Where is gone? I think went down hole. What we do, Boris? Mother and father never prepare us for invasion. Speak, interlopers. Our American pigs are comrades. Wait, you're Russian. How long have you been here? No answers for spies. Only comrades. So, our American are comrades. We're comrades, but it's pretty clear you're not. We've never heard less convincing Russian accents in our life. How you dare! We are Russian to bone! Ask anything, we prove! We ever left this storeroom? You mean secret base? Yet. Great great grandmother went out once. Brought back cartoon tape with secret messages from Fearless Litter in Moscow. Tape went down hole too. Like gun, soap, wind up dog. And Aeroflot, in flight magazine, and mustard. Everything goes down the hole. Was forgetting about mustard. Now I want to cry. We'll never have such flavor again. Who are you? We are Boris and Natasha, agents of glorious Soviet Republic. Da. Mother Russia. Does Russia even exist anymore? Of course Motherland exists! Capitalist lackey! It is America who is dead! What are you doing in here? <clears throat> Long time ago, great, 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 great grandfather Boris and great, 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 great grandmother Natasha are Russian spies. Moscow tell them to sneak into base for secret mission. Destroy American Particle Accelerator. Ancestors hide here in storeroom and wait for signal from Moscow to begin destroy. They hear alarm one day and soldiers evacuate, but signal never comes. So they wait. Great, 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 great grandfather and grandmother. So who are your parents? Father Morris and Mother Natasha. Son and daughter of Grandfather Boris and Grandmother Natasha, who are son and daughter of Great Grandfather Boris and Great Grandmother Natasha, and so on and so on. I have great honor to be Natasha the Sixth. What? <laughs> Ew! You believe since you were born waiting for the signal? Da! It will come. Russia is greatest country in the world. Fearless leaders will not fail us. What happened to your parents and grandparents? When they die, we give great send-off. Then they go down hole like all things. Sometimes we hear voices from hole. Wonder if ghosts of parents. But good Russians do not believe in superstitions. So we know is hallucinations instead. Why do you want to destroy the particular accelerator? Because his mission! Da. What Moscow asks, we do. Uh, when was the last time you heard from Moscow? Ah, never! He wait for signal, like father and mother, and grandfather and grandmother, and all ancestors before them. It will come. It must. 
Is there a way to shut down the particle accelerator? Da! We have planned! Great, 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 great grandfather's plans say there is hydraulic system next to particle accelerator room. Sabotage with special chemicals. Particle accelerator grind to halt. Is good plan. Have had six generations to make. Could you help us with this plan? What are the special chemicals? Mm, have not yet proved our loyal agents of glorious Soviet Republic. Now you will. We have test. One question only. Who is greatest enemy of glorious Soviet Republic? Oversimplified and insulting national stereotypes. Good guess, capitalist pigs. But wrong. You are not loyal agents of the glorious Soviet Republic. You are... Spies! Oh no! Capitalist lackeys! Will never take alive! Natasha! Cyanide pills! For motherland! Ah, Boris! For motherland! Repair tail. Accessing loading dock crane door. 
Some commands may not be available due to the current safety protocols. Please choose from the following options. Lower grain. Okay, time to make some dinner, but uh, I'll be back later probably. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys.